And uh, let's go now to uh, Julia Williams. Uh, Julia Williams uh, is the uh, human rights officer for uh, Care Can. That's a Canadian Council on uh, American Islamic Relations, and uh, she joins us now. Uh, Julia Williams, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, uh, what's your organization's reaction to the PQ's position? Well, I think when we first heard the news, um, it was mostly a lot of frustration and disappointment. Um, unfortunately, a lot of this stuff has been coming up lately, particularly out of Quebec. Um, it's frustrating that for some Canadians, the democratic right to participate in government is being challenged in this way. Um, you know, we think that individual autonomy and freedom should be respected and valued at all levels of government. Um, and that this move, if, if the PQ went ahead with it as a government, um, would undermine those freedoms and democratic values. And has it uh, caused much reaction within the Muslim community? We haven't specifically, um, I mean, it's definitely being talked about. We haven't specifically received calls um, from concerned constituents at our office yet. Um, partly, I, I imagine that's due to the fact that this is um, election talk at this point. The PQ aren't currently the government. I'm sure there'd be much more alarm um, if and when that happens. Um, but right now, it's just, um, you know, the general concern that this continual um, sort of erosion or the idea of eroding um, personal autonomy and freedom when it comes to religious practice, particularly for Muslim women. Well, that's a, that's a question I wanted to ask you. Is a hijab, for example, seen as a religious symbol? Well, that's a really good question. I mean, a lot of women wear the hijab um, as, a, as a practice of the faith, as something they see as um, a mandatory expression of, of faith. Um, it's, a piece, it's ultimately a piece of clothing that they believe is required of them within the faith. Um, it's not something that can easily be cast aside in the sense that it's almost like appearing in a state of undress um, to not be wearing the hijab for a lot of women. So uh, one of the reasons that this potential uh, regulation is so severe is that it will, uh, you know, effectively prevent women who wear the hijab from um, serving the public in, in the way that they always have and hopefully will continue to. Um, and then there's also the matter of women who are already in the public service in Quebec who wear the hijab. Um, will they have to leave their, giving them an ultimatum of leaving their employment versus keeping their religious faith? How likely uh, do you think, uh, I mean, that just sounds like a terrible choice to have to make. Oh, absolutely. And it's not just a choice that's going to be faced by Muslim women. I mean, obviously, as a Muslim human rights organization, we're concerned about Muslim women. We're also concerned about the rights of other faith groups, Sikh men and women, Jewish men and women, who might be faced with similar, similar extremely difficult choices. All right. We're speaking with uh, Julia Williams. She, uh, she's a human rights officer for CARE uh, Can. If you want to join the conversation, 514-597-4500. A free call across Quebec, 877-597-4500. And you can uh, reach us on Facebook and Twitter at CBC uh, Radio Noon. I, I'm, I'm wondering, has your organization tried to speak with the, with the Paths Québécois about this? Um, no, and at this time we haven't made any direct outreach efforts with Parti Quebecois uh, members. Right now, we're we're trying to um, have discussions with other faith-based groups, faith-based human rights groups, and secular human rights groups to discuss the issue and how we can work together as a coalition um, to deal with these issues. So that you would include, as you mentioned, Sikhs and and uh, people from the Jewish community uh, to be able to present a, uh, a, a a common front, I guess. Absolutely, because this isn't something that would just affect. Um, Muslim women. Um, it could affect Christian groups, Jewish groups, Sikh groups. Um, and, and, you know, this is obviously a, a huge concern for a lot of people of different faiths. Right. But uh, Pauline Marois uh, uh, falls back on the argument that what uh, she is doing is clearly establishing that equality uh, trumps religion. Yeah, and I mean, this is a very, very interesting point that's constantly raised, and your previous guest raised, that the main objective was the equality between men and women. And this sort of clouds and grades the issue of whether or not this really has to do um, with some type of secular conformity or neutrality of the state, and has more to do with uh, a perception of Muslim and Muslim women particularly um, as being unequal to men um, and not valuing the equality of men and women. And that's simply false. Um, absolutely, I think that the PQ is right. The, uh, the objective of, of equality between men and women should always be promoted and valued within Quebec. 
but that's a separate issue from whether or not a woman should be able to continue to work within the public service, run for public office, serve her country. We've had Canadians, uh, Muslim women in the Canadian forces wearing hijabs who are ready to lay down their life for this country. And you're going to tell them that they can't serve their country, their province, because of a clothing decision. It's ridiculous. Julia Williams, thank you very much for speaking with us today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, Julia Williams is with the, the Canadian Council on uh, Canadian Islamic Relations. You're listening to